Hello everyone. Welcome to a very, uh, I don't know how long this, this stream is going to be. Might be pretty quick. Might, uh, might take a while. I don't know. So I'm going to, I'm going to pull this cover off and uh, just check the valves on this side only. I, I did check the other side already and I've done some of the preliminary work on this valve uh, job here, whatever valve check, just to, uh, you know, kind of speed things along. There are a lot of really good videos out on YouTube on how to do this. If you would like to see how to do this in detail, uh, we might even have one ourselves, I don't know, uh, on our channel that maybe uh, Doug or somebody did. There's also uh, Chris Harris, he's done videos on the, doing the same thing and there's really not any reason to you know just kind of repeat the same thing but i'm going to go ahead and pull this cover off and i just talk with you guys while we're all uh well i don't know how many of you guys are locked up can't go anywhere with the with the name that i will not name the reason i won't name it is because if i do then it's going to want to put some kind of information down below if the algorithm or something figures out that I'm talking about that worldwide issue that everybody seems to be having right now. So I'm not doing that. So what I am going to do is get some of my tools together here and take that thing off. So wherever you're tuning in from, good to see you. Even though I can't really see you. I can see this camera though. I probably should put some music on because uh, the last time I did this, somebody said I needed to put the music on louder. There's actually none playing right now. And I should have something on here. So I'm taking off this guard here first. Those of you guys want to know what model this is, this is a an R1100 RT. It's a 96 R1100 RT. I do work on something other than K-Bikes. Can you believe it? I know a lot of you guys are probably in shock right now. A lot of you K-Bike guys are like, hey, wait a minute. I thought this guy only worked on K-Bikes. No, I'll work on whatever. I've worked on, uh, you know, the, the R bikes. I've worked on the S bikes. I've worked on, of course, the K bikes. Even the, some of the F bikes I've had in here. Along with other uh, brands too. I don't bring I don't bring too many of those to video, because it's not really my my main audience my main audience is you guys and fellow B&W enthusiasts and lovers of this brand I'll be right back let me go go put a little music on it's too quiet in here All right, so this one's got a, uh, I've actually not seen one of these in, in person. I know that there's, this is a, a little kick out thing for your foot. This is really just an, an amazing quality. I don't know who makes this. Some of you are bike owners out there probably have these on your bike and can tell me who makes these, but man, what a quality piece of equipment that is. It's just held on by two bolts in the end. 
and hooks onto this first fin on the on the cover and it, it doesn't go anywhere I mean when you're when you're pushing on it you're gonna be pushing the only pressure you're really gonna be having is against these two screws and they're not gonna go anywhere or two bolts nice piece though I like it So those of you who have uh, joined me before at, on these live streams, when I'm working on this side of the bike, you know, I can't, I can't really read what's going on um, when it comes to what you guys are writing. So every once in a while, I'll go over there and take a look and kind of go through the comments. I'll also provide a, uh, some time at the very end of this video too, to go through some of your comments and questions and address some of the things that you got. If you do have any questions on on bikes, especially K bikes, because there we certainly have a lot of uh, fans for that bike, by all means, put them in the in in the comment section. So there's that there's that piece of nice piece of kit I want to call it. You can see how it operates there. That's pretty nice. So if you guys have never worked on your R bike and you're looking at, you know, you're, you're just here because you want to see how you work on one of these things. Depending on what model you have, you've got, you know, this is a, a these can be a, a stick coil uh, or they can be, the coils can be way up top. Now in this older model, this, this wire goes up to the top, there's coils up there. This is just a long spark plug wire with a spark plug boot. If you have this type on there, you can you can get an, either an object behind it and kind of pry out. What I like to do is just take a, a piece of string and tie it around there. Like that, and then pull it out. That way you don't damage anything. So to get the spark plug out that's way down in there, you need a very thin walled socket. Uh, this is a 15, I think. Yeah, 15 millimeter thin walled. Now, this is a stamp on one and it's thin enough to get down in there, but they make ones that are even more thin. Uh, Sometimes your BMW tool kit comes with a spark plug wrench that's appropriate for this. But I just want to pull it out, check it, just check the spark plug. I think the guy, I think he wanted me to change the plugs on it, but I like to look at them anyway. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's kind of a nice tan color. It's in nice shape. Make sure you have a pan underneath because when you do pull this head cover off it is definitely going to drop oil no way it's not going to unless of course you you know the engine totally dry and you've ruined it <laughs> hold on guys
I love it when I get the wife calls during the live stream. Always reach in there and grab that little that rubber out of there. If you got to get a hook tool in there, you might need to to get it loosened up. I think I'm gonna have to get a hook in there. That's not really coming out. Oh, wait a minute, there it is. All right, I got it. Hey, Michael, I, good question. Yeah, I should have drawn. I should have blown out the dirt out of there. That, that was a, that would have been a good thing to do. Let me, let me eyeball it. Yeah, there's a few pieces in there. Overall, it's not too bad. Definitely would have been a good thing to do, though. Good catch. Actually did do that in the last one on the other side. Getting ahead of myself. Let me make sure these are loose. I did I did rotate the uh, the tire around over to the the top dead center mark for this side. So these are ready to go. This isn't really so much as an instruction an, an instructional. It's more of a um, uh, you know just connecting with you guys out there, talking to you guys. Somebody tighten the hell out of those things. I'm surprised I 
and strip. I know these are technically pretty simple, but they really are still a pain. Only the Germans would make something like this, where you tighten up one of these and then this one becomes loose. <laughs> back and forth, back and forth. Got him.
So tell me in the comments, guys, are you uh, stuck in your homes or... Uh, sorry, you're just looking at my shoulder there. You guys stuck in your homes? Are you stuck in your... Uh, going to work like normal? As you can see, I'm pretty much working. I'm, I'm grateful for the uh, to the people that are still bringing me their stuff to work on. My wife and I are quite healthy and uh, having no issues in regards to any of that stuff going on. As soon as you tighten it up, one gets loose. And, uh, right. Take a look at your comments here in just a second. through your comments uh like i said in a, in a moment I, I just had to go over there and take a look see what some of you said and uh well <laughs> the guy that you can't get enough of valves huh valve instruction <laughs> well that makes me laugh I'm not blasting these things on here with this. Just getting them started.
some of you RT guys out there, just figure out a really good way to get that stupid rubber plug out of the other side and uh, put it back in there easy. That thing always takes forever when I do it. I don't do these bikes enough. <clears throat> side. You guys know the little plug I'm talking about. That little viewfinder. Oh, so I see somebody. Somebody's asking me how long the, uh, or how how often should the valves be checked? Uh, I don't. I think the book says like every twelve thousand, maybe. Um, this one, this one was unknown. The, the guy just bought this bike, so he wanted to just check them to make sure that they were good. We didn't have any records on this thing at all, and uh, you know, there's a few things on here that absolutely needs to be changed or needed to be changed. I hate this plug. Uh, one thing that needs to get changed, which I cannot do right at this moment, is the, uh, the brake lines. This one has the original brake lines on it. And those of you guys out there kind of know how I feel about these brake lines on these BMWs, man, they stink. When it comes to the originals, they're just awful. They 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 get so crapped up. Um, they get hard. All right, got that thing in there. Anyways. Yeah, these original brake lines, they get they get really brittle and they just need to go. They need to get swapped out. Um, unfortunately, Spiegler over in, I think they're in Ohio, maybe? Iowa? I don't know. One of those towns. One of those cities, I mean. <laughs> they, states, <laughs> they're closed down for now for like the three weeks or something so I can't get a set of lines out of them and he doesn't want to do it right now anyway so other than that I mean I, I did some tune-up stuff on the bike I did some uh, uh, the air filter still needs to get changed did the gas filter I thought the gas filters were a pain on the on the LT those are like a dream compared to these these things are just misery trying to change that stupid gas filter out I actually like the ones that are in the gas tank better the ones that have like the big long hoses on them on like the old uh, whether it's the K100s or the old R bikes you know the really old stuff where you can kind of go in through the top grab it pull it all out you know get it outside of the, the tank and swap it out inspect the hoses and stuff these just kind of they, they, oh, they're just a nightmare just watch another video somebody else's video on how to change those and you'll see what a pain in the ass it is um, yeah other than that oh I put some tires on this one too actually I'll show you these tires I this is the first time I've actually uh, had my hands on them I have no no proof of how they work uh, you know but I think some of you guys out there have asked me about them meaning that you know maybe some of you have them this, this is, these are the, the ST, the uh, Avon ST tires, uh, Spirits. Yeah, the Avon Spirit ST. Very, very nice looking tire, man. Serious rain grooves on here. It looks very similar to the 3DXM tire. Although the 3DXM, 
doesn't have quite as many rain grooves in it so I got a feeling these are going to be amazing tires on this so that, that's obviously the rear I'll show you what the front pattern looks like that there's there's the front pattern well, sorry guys you guys are there we go it's got some nice little siping in here got some really great rain grooves in it um, that looks like a very very promising tire too I really want to get that on a bike and try it out I mean I'm gonna I'll take this one out for a test but it's not my bike uh, and you know I'm not gonna really be able to put it through any kind of paces or anything I would have to get them on my GT or something and and give it hell so let's go through some of your comments and your questions Okay, use side profile here. All right. Donetsk. I don't know where Donetsk is. Well, uh, from Donetsk, Gilderland, New York. Doug, you're a weird dude if you can't get enough valve checks. Well, Steve, you're, uh, you're you're a very interesting man. You went you went down uh, in years. You went from a 2014 GTL to a 2005 LT. I've actually heard of a few guys like you that uh, have gone in that direction. That's that's pretty cool. I uh, I've I've heard from guys that have purchased the LT. You know, they love the power of it, but it's or I mean the GTL I should say they, they you know they love the power of the GTL but nothing can compare to the ride of the LT and I've been on the, the GTL and I, I do have a little bit of a power addiction so uh, I don't I don't know that a GTL will be in my future maybe a K16 GT uh, yeah anyway that's yeah good for you there's a lot of videos that you'll be able to you know You'll be able to figure out how to work on that thing, that's for sure. I've made a lot of them. I think I've got like now something like 200 videos now on that, on working on that LT. There's so many things that are covered. Uh, what else we got? Michael Fabric, you're stuck. Not good. I don't like to hear that. see oh did I use the o yeah the OT mark yeah I did I, I did use that I just didn't show it getting used manual says to get your valves checked every 6,000 miles yeah okay copyright infringement you bet that's what I'm all about I'm all about copyright infringement Yeah, so there's going to be, you know, some more videos coming up. I, I still have a, one that's yet to edit. I One I did quite a while ago. It's actually about a year old now. I had, I've got another video coming up on that S1000XR. Uh, that is going to be, I'm going to be in, in that video, I install a racing computer on that bike where I, I put the fire tongue exhaust on it so I still have to edit that thing those things they can be real challenge sometimes to edit that there's a lot of uh, cuts in there and you know whenever you see uh, a little jump cut you know I'll either I will have either a coughed or I say the word um you know or something like that some you know verbal tick that I don't like that I got to change anyway that's one of the videos there's also a, another video, or maybe there's two videos, on an S1000RR that I had in here that I, it, it, it wound up just, you know, it was some minor stuff. It came in here, the, the guy that owned it thought it was some major issues. It really turned out to be pretty minor. 
uh, just some adjusting stuff, uh, adjusting the chain, that kind of stuff. Took that bike out for a ride, and that that was definitely uh, that, that bike. If you, any but you guys out there who have ridden that S1000RR, that thing is hell on two wheels, man. That is one serious machine. I it, all I could say is it was felt like it was riding a, a bomb. It was as it was exploding. Um, God, that thing had a lot, so much power. It was re ridiculous. Uh, oh yeah, Warusu man. Have I, have I checked my pivot bearing video two years ago? You know what? I have not checked that video, that, that bearing yet. Uh, that is going to be an upcoming video. That's going to be upcoming pretty soon. So my LT right now is down. It's, it's, I won't take it anywhere. I, I can still ride it, but I'm not going to ride it anywhere long distance. Last time I rode it, the clutch started slipping and it's it's got an oil leak uh, i don't it's not the rear main leaking it, i think the the transmission seal or that pilot bearing or the input shaft bearing seal has blown out and it started leaking quite a while ago and i just was just like you know I, I i do so many of these clutches i, I don't want to do my own i just want to just let it sit for a while well i got to get it in here now and even though things aren't really slowed down in here, I may take a few days to bring it in and, you know, pull out the clutch. And that is one of the videos that I absolutely am going to do. It's going to be a long-term review of those pivot bearings. Those, uh, what were those things called? Something Emerald Island, Emerald Isle or something like that. Uh, pivot bearings. Definitely going to do that one. And I will post that video as quickly as I can. It won't wait a year. I'll... I'll do it it'll be a short video so it'll be easy to edit good question though thank you for asking that um, yeah some of the other things uh, that are coming up I know I got a couple more I think I, there's an LT coming in I got to talk to a guy about uh, bringing in a, a K1200 GT for some work and yeah you know what I'll, I'll throw these videos out whenever I can whenever I think about it but I'll keep this one at uh, right here at this one I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it right here thank you so much for watching thanks for supporting me all you guys out there that have uh, helped me out through patreon man you have no idea how much that helps that really does it's a big one um, even the even the dollar a month stuff just helps out I'm getting close Getting real close to my goal after two years of, of 100 people that will that are helping to support me. Um, I think I'm like at 85, 84, 85 right now. Getting close. Getting real close. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I will uh, get back inside and start editing. I'll see you on the next one.